Hey there YouTube, this is Curse of Bogard here, and I'm going to be giving you one of the possible decks that will be running at Nationals 2011, which I am going to. I'm not sure who I'm hanging out with yet, honestly. I'm probably going to hang with just the high Yugi tubers like uh, Jeff Lang. I mean, like, the Lang Baker, in my mind, is a pretty high Yugi tuber compared to me. I honestly suck. I'm down there. I mean, so a lot of people know me, but, like, they don't know me, know me. They don't, sh like... I don't know, how do I put it like this? I'm out there, but I'm not way to fuck up there, saying, oh, everyone knows this bitch, like, pause joker. But anyways, um, way to call it pause joker, even though I hate this fucking ass. Oh, my, well, I don't hate it. I hate his YouTube channel. I don't know how to explain it. You guys can just fucking whatever. But I'm going to be showing you my agent deck, which is very consistent. That it does not run on Archlord Christia's, because I'm a budget builder, and I'm just poor as fuck, honestly. I am so much in debt right now. But, here is the build, um, you, like, synchro-wise, you just need staple synchros. Uh, I threw in this because of my attack, Gale, and, uh, it's basically any synchros, like level 4 to 8, you could run in this deck. You could run not 4 to 9, actually. But, um, yeah, I am playing... Armor Master, Catastro, and Scrap Dragon as my three most busted fucking synchros. Um, Colossal Fight is pretty good too. Arukazos is my tech synchro because he could shit on all Karakuris, which have to switch to defense when you attack to them. He gains attack when he does damage, and it shits on Spirit Reaper like no other. So, and it's a good level 6. I also won't need Bryonic to finish this deck though. So, on to the main deck. I like the main deck because this deck is involved all on thinking. This is not as sacky. It's in the hands. It's the deck is all. This deck basically is how you play it. There's no sackiness in it. Well, that's sort of sacky, but the sackiness is like no Christia's dropping and shit. It's just the deck is based on thinking. But you play the standard triple Earth, triple um, Hyperion. I play double Venus because. I tend to be able to spam Hyperions using Jupiter, or not Venus, sorry, Jupiter, because if I remove a Hyperion due to its, uh, another one's effect, I can get another one out with Jupiter, and the cards uh, just can run over shit, like Shien, easily. It's more agents, honestly, um, and you can just get remove shit back, like tuners, and do your synchroing. Only play one Venus, because that is all you need. You either draw into it, or you search it easily, like a bitch. But I do play the Mystical Shine Balls because it does it thins out the deck very well. And the White Elephant's Gift lets you draw. And this is Synchro Bait for the Herald and Earth that are your tuners. So you can make easy synchros with that. You have all the, scar you discard, all the cards in your hand that you discard to get pluses from. Zerodeus. I play Double Herald over Effect Veiler right now. I'm not sure what I'm going to play. But I'm liking Double Herald because you discard fairies. It's a level 2 fairy tuner. Uh, and it's just, it's more Hyperion bait, but sometimes it can be dead compared to Fetch Veiler, which sort of sucks, but I'm, I'm still debating that. I Comment down below your votes on what I should do. Uh, Honest, that's just a no-shitter, it's a light deck, but I'm, uh, I'm trying to trade for a Secret or a Ghost Honest, so if you have one, hit me up, because I've traded like all my Ultra, ul ultra ones. For text in this deck, I'm playing a Gale, because it runs over shit, it's a level 3 tuner. It's amazing, because you could whip out Armor Master, which fucks up a lot of cards. And I also run a Neospatial Grammel, because it does a lot of damage to Gladiator Beast. It does a lot of damage to, heck, a lot of things. Uh, I like the side deck as well. It's very built. I could always side stuff out easily. There's no questioning it. But, I play Triple Sanctuary, because there's no shit. That's a no-shitter, honestly. Car one card in the sky and one White Elephant's Gift. Because White Elephant's Gift only works at the Shine Ball. So that helps sometimes, this helps sometimes, but just, I used to play two of these, but I don't know, it's still debatable. You got Staples, Dark Hole, True Nade, Double MST, Monster Reborn, Book of Moon. That's your spell lineup. For your trap lineup, you play the Triple Massive Period, Divine Punishment, your Common Solemn Judgment, your Seven Tools of the Bandit, just to save shit, and... I play Double Bottomless because uh, even if Priority is not gone, I don't have money for Solemns yet. And, um, because those are foreign, they're German. First, they're German, Common Bottomless. And it just 
saves you, like, there's n it's basically a no-shitter. I mean, if there's no effects, like, priority effects, you want to just get rid of something that's shitty, like, that's pissing on you, there you go, bottomless. And for the last two traps, you always put these in your deck. TT and Mirror Force. So yeah, that's my build, my main deck build. But I'm going to go through my side deck on why I chose some of these cards. Jalgen is the poor man's, uh, sorry. Jalgen is the poor man's Fossil Dyna, but I play it over Fossil Dyna because one, I don't have money. And two, it's a light, so I get honest with it. It's a level three, so I can easily synchro with it as well. Play double morphing jar number two because of all the low monster count decks and the shit just rapes it recycles itself because the flip effect happens first and then it bounces itself the deck and you just summon your earth or your jupiter and some shit so it's useful very good against low monster count decks it mills your opponents good spells and traps voila as m always everyone's afraid of the six sam and hero matchup so there you go double fucking kinetic uh i got these off lane but double tuner scheme, because the card's ridiculously busted. Uh, take Hyperion, or, or not Hyperion, Hyper Librarian and such. And, yeah, that's just self explanatory. I still play two pulling the rug, because I'm always afraid of the random people who play Dragoonities, and the Debris Dragons that run around, and all the shit, like Debris Dragon, Jung Synchron. Fuck you guys. Counter traps, shit on you. And then. My personal side deck card I've figured out on my own, which helps against Hyper Librarian. Triple Bubble Crash. It minuses your opponent like a bitch. And it helps when their decks are like plusing like crazy. Um, but like when they have field and hand advantage like crazy on you, Bubble Crash helps. And plus, when you have more cards in hand and field, you can always play the Bubble Crash to send fairies to grave from your hand. So it's useful. Um, not everyone likes that tech. In fact, only a couple people like it, but Lang doesn't like it and shit, so. And for the last three cards, afraid of all those eight, kind of like, other fairy matchups and, uh, Gravekeepers, mostly. Triple Dust Tornado, and because it just helps with the double MST, five out of forty cards will destroy spells and traps, which means your ratio is one out of eight, I believe? No, hold on. Yeah, one out of eight cards will be a spell trap destruction card. Uh... Plus the Hyperions, too. But, so yeah, that's my fucking agent build for Nats. Tell me what you think on the build. Um, for a budget build, how well do you think it plays? I beat, um, I beat an agent build that had eight Hyperions and Dualities, or not Hyper, uh, Christias and Dualities, because I think very well, and it's, um, the way you play the deck, and the way you side. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, keep on subscribing, really hoping to hit... 500 subscribers and maybe get partnered really want to get partnered by the end of next summer because i'm going to high school next year but oh uh, yeah i keep um guys i need you to help me out and buy my stuff uh, i'm going to nats i'll be probably making a video of what i'm going to be wearing at nats but uh yeah just keep i'm going to make a nats tech or not nats tech top decks and tips deck for nats soon but that's pretty much it. My battery's about to die. And yeah, peace out, YouTube.